So we've just had a, a meeting with Mark Harper and his team. Um, I would say it was a positive meeting in the sense that we've got rid of the bellicose nonsense that we used to have from Grant Shapps and his cohort in, in his era. And we're now starting to get a dialogue. So what we're hoping for and what uh, Mr Harper has committed to is giving us an outcome from this meeting, which will be a letter to, to me saying how he sees us going forward and taking forward uh, steps towards a resolution. And we laid out to him what we thought he should do, and he's acknowledged some of that. And what we're chiefly asking him to do, you've heard him say that he's going to be a facilitator towards a settlement or a resolution of the dispute. And we've said to him that it's no good having these warm words. We've heard them uh, from his predecessor, Anne-Marie Trevelyan, but nothing actually happened. So we want him to set down in writing what he's going to do about the mechanics of how a resolution will be facilitated. Because we've, at the moment, we've got even got doubt about the authority of the people we're speaking to, who are called the Rail Delivery Group, and they are telling us they have no authority to, to negotiate, they do not have a mandate, and they've even put legal challenges to us as to whether they can negotiate at all. So we've got a situation where th 14 uh, train operating companies are telling us they can't negotiate, and so is their industry group, the rail delivery group. So I've asked him to set out in writing and clarify what the authority of these people is. And I've asked him to create a liaison group or a liaison forum, however they ter term it, at ministerial level, so that the industry and ourselves as trade unions can go and see them, or at least liaise with them about how uh, a settlement could come about.